Hey guys, AK47 Master here, back with one new Super Mario Brothers, and on this episode, we are going to be continuing on with World 8, doing the 8 7. We're pretty much almost done with this game as a whole. So far, counting down the levels, there's only four left, including this one. So, yes. And for some reason, they're playing the underground theme, even though we're clearly above ground. That's weird. Alright. So, yeah. Yeah, guys, um, hopefully, in, you know, I never actually mentioned or made a commentary about, uh, my gaming console collection. I know that sounded very annoying, and, oh gosh, oh gosh, alright, at least we could live. Anyways, I never made a commentary about that, you know, and how am I supposed to get over here? How am I supposed to get over there? Alright, good, I thought it was, like, impossible. Anyways, I never made, you know, a commentary talking about... All the different gaming systems I've owned um, throughout the years. And I thought, you know, today would be a good day to do that. So, starting off in 2001, Christmas of 2001, December 25th to be exact. Yeah, I'm so precise. I know the date I got my first console. I got the Game Boy Color. I remember it now. It was a purple Game Boy Color, I believe. Or it might have been green. I think it was purple. Something tells me purple, and I feel terrible that I can't remember that. But yeah, I got a Game Boy Color, and along with that I got a Pokemon Crystal. And wow, look, Fire Brothers. Fire Hammer Brothers, even though they're just shooting fireballs. But yeah, I got uh, Pokemon Crystal, and I remember I loved Pokemon Crystal. I still do. If I still had my original copy with my original Game Boy Color, I'll play it. But I believe I it stopped working after, like five years down the road because of, you know, just basic abuse that, uh, you know, a uh, five-year-old gamer would do to such a thing, unfortunately, because that game was really awesome. I remember it, it actually took me till 2006 until I actually got to um, the Kanto region, which I think is pretty funny, having a game for like five years and then finally unlocking the second half of it, but yeah. Kind of disappointing, actually. But yeah, the Game Boy Color was awesome. I had some awesome games, including Super Mario World, Super Mario Land, I think, for the Game Boy Color. Uh, you know, the Legend of Zelda games, such as Oracles of Seasons and Oracles of Ages, and some other cool games, too. I remember, like, the one crappy game I had was this Mickey Mouse racing game. I hated it. And look, I got 100% on 8.7. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. And now, skipping over a year ahead in 2002, Christmas of 2002, I got the PlayStation 1. Now, this console was kind of, not exactly my introduction to RPGs, but it was the one that counted. Because that's the console I got both uh, Final Fantasy VII and um, Chrono Trigger on. Which, as you guys know, those are two of my favorite games of all time. Absolutely love those games, they're amazing. And yeah, and I had some other cool games such as the original Spiral the Dragon trilogy, which I think I consider those to be the only real dragon Spiral the Dragon games. Well not the only real ones, obviously they're not the only real ones. There are plenty of other spiral games, but they're the best. I, th I consider the original trilogy to be truly the best, some of the best platforming you'll ever get. Like, it's comparable to platforming games like Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie 64, or Banjo... Yeah, Banjo-Kazooie, I think it was just called Banjo-Kazooie. But yeah, those games, as you know, as most of you know, are amazing as well. And of course, you know, uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Mario have gotten, you know, great, uh, great sequels in the future, but Spyro really didn't get treated too well. But anyways, I got some other cool games like uh, Crash Bandicoot, and I think I mentioned that already, and you know, some others. But yeah, now forward, now fast forward a year later, I got the GameCube in 2003, and I remember it now, I remember the original. Alright guys, so pretty much we finished the level, and we got the classic Mario theme. How fitting, since this is the last real level, or the last true level, the next two levels are going to be castles. Yeah, continuing on with what I was saying, uh, the GameCube, and I remember, I remember it like yesterday, I saw this ad 
back in 2003 where they were advertising the GameCube for $99. And I was like, and I, I remember I walked up, I ran up to my dad who was sitting in the living room at the time. And I said, Dad, 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 uh, the GameCube is only $9. It's only $9.99. <laughs> I remember it like, to, like it was yesterday. It was hilarious. And my dad was like, no, Sonny, it, it can't be $9.99. It can't be $10. It must be $99.99. But, and I was like, no, but I saw this, uh, this commercial on TV and it said it was $9.99. Isn't that a great price? And he's like, well, yeah, that is a great price, except they're not going to sell it for that price. And what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> but yeah, I remember it. It was it was the funniest thing ever because I was just so excited and then I was kind of let down. But I still, my parents still bought it for me anyways. It's not like they weren't going to buy it for me at the time. And I, I remember I got some really cool games for it. I got, you know, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 for it. I got Paper Mario 2, which is one of my favorite uh, Nintendo RPGs of all time. I absolutely love it. And I got uh, Super Mario Sunshine, which, you know, if, for anybody who's had a GameCube, anybody I know who had a GameCube had that game already in their library. It was like, you know, it was kind of like essential to have that game. And, you know, some other games. I think the GameCube is probably my favorite console. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore because I don't remember how I lost it. I kind of just, you know, stopped having it because at the time the Wii came out and then at the time I got rid of it, which was like in 2007, early 2007, uh, you know, the Wii had already been out and the GameCube had kind of been discontinued and games for the GameCube were really cheap, so I was trying to get as many as I can at the time. I remember I got the Lego Star Wars games, which were like 20 bucks each, which brand new, that was amazing. But then I kind of got rid of it because I kind of, you know, it, it killed my spirit that the GameCube was dying because that was definitely my favorite console. But yeah, moving on, fast forward to Christmas of 2007, I get my Nintendo Wii, which I know that's kind of not really late, actually. It's actually quite early if you consider it. That's only a year after the Wii had already been out. So that's pretty cool, pretty good. And I got uh, like six Mario games at the time. I got a... Uh, Mario Strikers Charge, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario Party 8, and some other games. Wii Play. You know, I think everybody got Wii Play for their Wii, because, you know, it's like you get a free Wii remote out of it. Or not really, you get like a $10 game and a Wii remote, so it's pretty cool. And, you know, I got some other games like Twilight Princess, you know, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, which that's a really good game. It's stuff, you know. I'm really trying to focus here. <laughs> Sorry guys if I sound like anxious or something, but trust me, I'm really trying to focus. Alright. Luckily we got through there with no trouble. Trouble? Trouble. You know this is you know I'm really getting anxious if I'm like <laughs> getting super worried. <clears throat> but yeah guys, that's it. So that's it for World 8's second tower. And on the next episode, we will go be going to Bowser's Castle of Epicness. <clears throat> See you guys then.